Hey guys, something a little different than that blank white wall I'm usually sitting in front of. I was digging through a box of my miniatures today and I was looking after something specific. Characters. I'm always looking for ways to get inventive with the character creation process. And uh, one of the ways that I thought of recently, so I thought I'd slap it into a video, is the idea of starting with a miniature and then making a character based around that miniature. Because one of my favorite things when I'm playing D&D is to have the perfect miniature for my character. To me, having the right miniature down on the table is a huge boost to the fun of the game. Even if you're doing mostly theater of the mind, sometimes I'll bust out a creature just so that people know what they're looking at. So let's just dive right into it with this uh, big axe-wielding dude here. So you look at him and you see that he is probably either a human, maybe a goliath, maybe a half-orc. He can pass for a couple different races that way. Maybe he's the most yoked elf of all time. Then you look at his equipment. He's got like a... I would call that half plate probably, or you could be generous and say that he's technically unarmored if you wanted him to be a barbarian. Because essentially what you're going to be doing is looking at this miniature and saying, what class does that thing look like? So if you look at this guy, he's got a big giant two-handed axe. And then you look close at his axe and it's got this big screaming demon looking face on it and you can write some kind of backstory as to why that's there. If you look really closely at the paint job that I did, it's actually kind of jacked up. I didn't shake my primer enough, and so it came out really spotty. So you could throw it into a backstory that he comes from a place where when they forge their stuff, they mix stone and metal somehow and make that a little interesting piece of his backstory, because that's what it looks like to me. Then, since this is technically about character creation, you just write some stuff like he loves to mean mug people or he eats goblins after he kills them because he's a crazy person, stuff like that. So you move on to character number two, and it's this, uh, I think it's from the Wrath of a Shardalon board game. It's a, a half-elf paladin, I want to say, but if you look at him, he could be a... Uh, again, you look at his... His figure, he could he could be human. He might be small enough that you could call him one of the small races. Um, but like interesting for this guy is that you could finally have a reason to use a war pick on a character in fifth edition, and you could have a backstory for why he wears a bright yellow cape, and you could have a a divinity reason for why he has that symbol on his shield. He's heavily armored, so you're probably going to want him to be a paladin or a cleric or some kind of really religious fighter. But then you write that little backstory for him and you've got the perfect miniature for your character. And what I want to note is that since I painted these guys, if I had a character idea in mind, I could have taken an unpainted miniature and then painted the idea onto the miniature. Lastly, I wanted to try to do one with one of the pre-painted ones, and uh, I think this is actually from the Pathfinder set, but this guy has a lot of character on him. He's got a deer skull on his head and a cool wolf cape and a really specific scabbard for his sword, and his outfit stands out. This miniature screams to be played as like a druid or a ranger, and he's got little pieces that you could write little backstories on he's even got little runes on his knees and he's got i think he's got little skulls on his belt and you could just write onto your character sheet why all these things are or what they mean or how they came to be a part of his character and then you've got a nuanced character based on the things that you took away from the miniature that were already there Thanks for watching guys, I know I'm a little mumbly right now, I think I slept like three hours and I threw this video together on my phone. Uh, if you like the idea, let me know, if you think I'm stupid, let me know, and um, I don't know, I might do more of these in the future, and if you guys want to send me your pictures of your specifically painted characters, I can maybe do a spotlight on them or something, with about ten times more energy and a lot more passion than this one's got. Bam, 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 bam,
Dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-